So, hey guys, Chauso here, and yeah, some big news on JP today. We got the first, we got it confirmed that we're getting a Kisuna Legend Toki and Momonosuke and Hiyori for the upcoming Kisuna Clash on JP. And today we know what they're about. We're also going to get a Kisuna Clash re recruit Kinamon as well as a free to play Jack, who also has a 5 plus, and we also got info about the 6 plus Dex Sabo and everything looks insane really. So yeah, let's hop into info about the new units. I'm going to mainly focus on the new legend here because this Toki and Moment Hero unit is actually legit insane and we don't even have the full info. Toki has new mechanics so we really need to test it to understand the extent of how good she is as a unit and for time's sake I'm just going to call her Toki from now on. First let's take a look at what Toki is about. So she's a strength, free spirit and slasher unit. Her captain is surprisingly one nilla, nothing special but still good of course. Minus one CD at start of the quest, 4.75 times attack boost, 1.2 times uh, HP boost, and this is rainbow, so all units, just amazing. Strength will be beneficial for the whole team, and you heal one times her recovery for each perfect you hit. So yeah, that means she has very good survivability too, so yeah, while it's not anything special, it does a lot of good stuff, so it's definitely a good captain ability. The main thing about Toki that makes her crazy though is her special. It's completely unique, so let's just check it out first. So what happens is that you select two characters that will have certain debuff immunity. Uh, we'll check the, what it's about later. And this is for two turns. And then after those two turns, you get the units that got the immunity the, uh, protection. Gets a attack boost and an orb boost by 3.5 times for two turns. Uh, no, for one turn. And yeah, that's just insane. So yeah, we got some images above here, how, about how it works, and as you see at the picture above, you get like a small smoke effect on the unit that gets applied with the debuff protection. And it does state that you cannot be inflicted with bind, the spear, special bind, slot bind, paralysis, special rebind, blow away. It also says more, like we can assume that stuff like fear will also be avoided. Uh, the way this works most likely is that it will be like the Soba Mask Legends Captain action. So you get like grayed out, you don't get anything. The difference is that you choose what units get this. And that also means that you can run a good captain too, like Yuri herself or other captains. Like the biggest weakness of Soba was of course that you had to run two, two Soba to get that ability. And as you see on the picture below, it seems like Toki does not have a timer buff, but instead a new mechanic that when her timer reaches zero with this new special, the attack and ore boost will be applied right away instead of a timer reaching zero. And this is pretty important because firstly, if there's no timer, it means that stuff like, you know, the red hacky, the buff removal should definitely not affect this and that's a big deal obviously because otherwise you'd be like protected from debuffs which is cool but you will get the timer removed but since no timer it can't be removed when the timer hits, a, hits zero you get the attack and or boost now this is unconfirmed but we let's think about using two toki captains because you can use both her specials in one turn, we assume, and you can apply her effect to four units. Let's assume this is not confirmed, but it makes sense. There's nothing inherently weird about four units getting this effect from two Toki specials. Uh, the, thing, the big question is, after two turns has passed, how many units will get the attack and or boost? Like, logically, we think it will be two units, right? Because buffs don't stack, 
so the two units that got this first should get the buffs right but we have to keep in mind that this is a new mechanic it seems to be tied to when uh, the countdown reaches zero so we don't know what happens when it reaches zero is it like is it like with other buffs like timers and such that yeah it goes in order okay this was first this get this buff and then we go with this buff or do, do they make it work so that everybody who reaches zero get the 3.5 times attack and or boost? We just don't know yet. This needs to be tested. And yeah, this is a big thing. Like if this, like if if you can give four units 3.5 times attack and or boost, Toki will obviously be insane. But we need to wait and see about that, of course. But yeah, even if that's not the case, getting like four units with debra protection and two units with 3.5 times attack and or boost in itself is very viable and yeah let's move on because one other thing to talk about is her super type and the condition for it is when a when anybody triggers a special it says crew member i'm not sure but yeah in either either way it shouldn't be hard to meet this but basically The interesting part is how it works, the special, because it says minus 5 CD to themselves. For one turn, boost color affinity for normal attacks of strength units by two times. But, like, the thing is that in the Japanese text, it says that, yeah, Toki and Hiyori and Momo gets it, and Japanese doesn't have plural. So it's possible that uh, when you use a Toki super type special, if you run double Toki, both Toki might get minus 5 CD. We need to test this because if that's the case, that's a very big deal. Because if you run double Toki, she, her CD maxes out at 12. So let's say stage 3, you use double Toki special. And you get uh, yeah, the debuff protection for 4 units. You move to next stage. Like if you use both Toki super type special. If that's the case, they'd get <coughs> they'd get minus 10 CD together. And since we move to the next stage, that means that they should be ready again, if that's the case. But as said, this is not confirmed for now. I just assume that it's only for the the unit, the Toki that uses the Super Dive Special. But yeah, we definitely need to try this because that would be a big deal. Because then you could use Toki Special Stage 3 and 4. You could get Debra Protection, Stage 4 and 5, and Attack and Orb Boost 3.5 times for at least 2 units, Stage 4 and 5. And that is obviously crazy. Like, we have two... I brought up two things here that are not confirmed. If either of these are confirmed to be real, I'd say that Toki is probably the most powerful captain in the game on paper. And like, even if both are not true, she is still super good. Even if I'd say she's mostly a uh, sub, honestly. But yeah, obvi obviously uh, one of the best subs in the game because this effect is actu actually bonkers. Treat one five times attack and orb boost for two units, like you do not need more than that, really. And also debuff protection, like... It's so versatile, like you can use it and ignore stuff like the spear if you give it to the captains. You can use it on the two strongest crewmates against the boss. Like say the boss is Dex. Or let's say quick. Let's say the boss is quick. You only run two Dex members of the crew. You don't really care about the damage output from the other four units. So this is like the maximum damage then. And this means you can just focus the rest of the team on, on utility. Maybe some shame boost. Color affinity conditional stuff like that and yeah really just max out the damage for those two units like one interesting thing for example is that units who had a sailor for like resist paralysis on themselves completely like that was mostly useless before but like now let's say you get the final stage you debuff protected two units they won't get paralysis 
we have a third unit that also doesn't get paralysis because they resist it. Now if you use, say, a chain lock special, we can start the chain with the third unit and we just hit with the two super buffed unit with the chain lock since somebody has to start the chain. See, that's just very cool potential synergy and it was ju just not something that was really a thing before Toki, so yeah, her usage is going to be through the roof, she's going to be used all the time. And yeah, with this release, I personally feel like, yeah, I'll skip Ace and Sabu, Kiss no Sugo 2. This is the Sugo 2 go all in on, if you want to pull on a Kiss no Sugo sometime, because yeah, this might, this is probably the best unit release this year, to be honest, like, you have to think about bringing something new and good to the table, like we had very good Legends released, we have very unique Legends release, but yeah, this is just a super overpowered mechanic and actually a viable mechanic too, so yeah, going to be super good. But yeah, let's take a look at the rest of it, like Sailor is cool, it, she got the cheating Sailors where she combines two Sailors into one, sadly the first Sailor is just extra stats, but yeah. Better than enough, no extra stats. And the second Sailor is reduced 5 turns of Special Bind and counted 2 turns of Special Rebind. And this has very good synergy with her Limit Break abilities too, since she does have the Fear Im immunity. So, yeah. She can be used on both, like, Hody and Anel, for example. And she has Pain, pain Shielding and RCV Bind reduction, so that's cool. Her support is pretty cool, it's like a uh, Legend Cavendish support, but only for specific units. I would have preferred if the units got the uh, 1 orb, but yeah, it's a strength orb, so you need to make sure the strength is beneficial, but otherwise, very cool support. And then there's just Rumble stats, but yeah, I don't care about that. Let's take a quick look at the other units. Kinemon, he's fine really, he, had, he does a lot of utility, like... Fine Terms of Para, Fine Terms of Rainbow Shield and Threshold Damage Reduction. Does some more Banip, some Chain Boost, nothing to complain about. Very cool. Very weird support. He just increases damage dealt to Kanjiro, like it makes sense, but it's been a while since we got one of those. 5 plus Yak, very cool. His special is super dope, really. Damage, so you can use like Akainu support, for example. He reduces 6 turns of paralysis and attack down, and gives color affinity boost for 3 turns to strength driven and powerhouse by 2 times. Yeah, just super cool units. And yeah, the, the 5 plus Kisna units continue to be really good. Like, this Yak isn't as good as the Kuja Paris we got, but that's still a super strong effect. Like, 3 turn affinity boost with utility, like, it doesn't really exist to be honest. Yeah, finally we have the 6 plus deck Sabo. Uh, I've seen people get hyped over this and I can understand that like in terms of viability buffs, this might be one of the strongest. Like the captain buff is definitely the biggest ever. Like Sabo went from a basically useless cap to a viable cap, even if it won't still see use. But like seeing a 6 plus have a max cap of 5 times attack is still crazy. Otherwise, I think it's really cool with this Sabo since it's not only a buff but also a side grade. Like the normal Sabo boosts orbs and gives a chain lock, and this Sabo gives a chain boost and an attack boost. So it's completely different, so definitely keep both these Sabo. And yeah, this Sabo is obviously made to work with Versus Ace since Versus Ace gives chain set and orb boost, and this Sabo gives an attack boost and chain boost. So, and both are for two turns. So they have perfect synergy that way. This Sabo even gives burn, which doesn't really matter to get with versus Ace. But still a nice bonus since burn is still really strong. And you can use it to bypass resilience and such. So yeah, very cool buff. Like I don't think this Sabo will see that much more use than before. Like of course if you run versus Ace, then versus Sabo will then this 6 plus Sabo will be a good option, but yeah, I, I'm a bit surprised by the hype, honestly, since while it's a big buff for Sabo himself, I don't think it's like 
a unit you will use that much to be honest and uh, yeah i personally feel like as a sub i will use like him and the original sub like around as much like you will never really use them in the same situations so and in most cases that chain lock support uh, a chain lock special is better than a chain boost but of course with versus ace then, sh then the chain boost is a lot better but yeah that's my thought on the new units this Toki unit is actually crazy. I look forward to seeing what the JP plays does with her. And yeah, I will definitely aim to get her on the debut for sure. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.